What's up fellow techs, do-it-yourselfers and tradesmen. It's so great to see your lovely faces today. I'm only working a few hours today, so let's not waste any time and jump right into these work orders. And it's full of water. Light switch engaged. Sounds like it's trying to engage. Hear that lid lock? This tells me the something's wrong. Something's going on with the lid lock. I can manually pull it down. Manually pull it down. And now it's locked. Just gonna hold this. Now it's draining. You can hear it draining. Bumps on. So this lid lock switch is just bad. This is held in by two Phillips head screws. There is a plug right here. You just need to use some force and pull it out. <clears throat> Here's our new-ish lid switch. It'll only plug in one way. Then I'm going to line this up. You can kind of see the holes come in. Let's make sure our lid lock engages. These machines always run a little bit of water before doing anything. I hear it. We got the red light that the lid is locked. So it got the right signal it was looking for. Now it should start draining and spinning. So I got, I got all the water drained. Now this is the problem. This is why the lid switch broke in the first place. There's a rug in here. All the weight is on one side. So this thing is banging around. These are not meant to wash rugs. I mean, this is just two of a unbalanced load. Let's try it now. So it's handling it a little bit better now that I kind of balanced the towel and the rug out. Okay, let's go check out the next work order. Let's see what's going on. Looks like they turned the water off. Oh yeah, it's got a little drip right there. That's no good. At least they turned the water off. Thank you for that. See the hot one? Turn them both off. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hear refrigerant pumping through the system. The filter is, this is pretty plugged. They're out of town, so I don't know what, how long ago they were running the AC, but it's plugged, but I don't think it's plugged enough to freeze it over. A float switch isn't gonna be the problem. Jesus. It's taking a temperature drop. 77 inside. A 17 degree temperature drop. I'm gonna go grab a new filter and just let this run for a little bit. I've got the filter replaced. We've got 58 degree supply temp. Um, it's dropped a degree. We're at 77 now. Almost a 20 degree split. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna go on the roof and gauge up, especially since it's like 50 degrees out and raining right now. I'm gonna call this one good. Lunch time. You know, some people ask me how I bang through these work orders so fast and just keep doing it with a high consistency. And I mean, is it the 20 years of experience? Is it because I watch YouTube videos and constantly try and better myself? No, none of that really, none of that really matters. It all really starts with what you eat and especially what you eat for lunch. And every day I have a nice bowl of raw liver with some salt and maple syrup and it's gotta say it's one of the reasons that i can bang through all these work orders mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh yeah that hit the spot cheers So that motor is completely shot. I can barely move it. Barely. It's not gonna budge, so gotta replace it.
very short day today for me. Got some personal stuff I gotta take care of. I did get two packages in and I wanna just let you guys know that the money that I make from this channel, most of it anyway, goes straight back into tools. And I appreciate all the, everyone that watches. And I got a, what did I get? What a, oh, hammer drill. Sweet. Also got one more. I think I know what this is. Nice, cheap swaging tool to open up copper pipes. It works very well and it's cheap. Yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, even though today was short. Like I said before, I'm going to keep these vlogs going as much as I can, I'm trying to get at least two in a week. It's Thursday right now. I don't know what time this is going to be posted, but hope everyone has a great weekend and see you guys on the next vlog.